The biggest Chinese delegation to visit South Australia has continued its whirlwind tour across Adelaide. With the state government keen to boost trade with its sister state, the Premier has brushed aside recent controversy over agricultural land being sold to foreign owners. On a stage splashed with China's lucky colour, the state government's hoping its VIP guests from Shandong province bring good fortune to South Australia's economy. Shandong has a bigger economy than Indonesia. This is 100 million people, four times the population of Australia. More and more products from South Australia entering into the Shandong's market. Businesses keen to be added to that list made their pitch to the 250-strong delegation at an expo in Adelaide. With the economy of South Australia at the moment, foods and tourism is very important for the states. Uh, really looking for some partners in China to, to uh, promote our brand. So around a thousand dozen. Exports to China are already worth $2 billion for the state, but the government wants to bump up that figure. The Chinese guests were sending out the right signs. He want to buy some uh, wine from South Australia and to export to China. They, they're looking for some opportunities in agriculture. And everything seems to be on the table, including agricultural land. Less than 3% of the land, agricultural land that's held in Australia is held by Chinese interests. South Australia has always prospered uh, with the investment of overseas direct investment. The Chinese delegation also includes a girls cricket team from a Shandong school who took on Adelaide High School's side. There are 80,000 cricketers in mainland China. Oh, This is a bit of history for South Australian cricket. Um, this is the first ever tour of a Chinese cricket team in Australia. Cricket is very uh, funny. <laughs> the delegation heads to Port Lincoln tomorrow. Lauren Walt here to ABC News Adelaide.